previously on Big Brother. Leave Tim alone. Oi! I've got to do something with Timmy. Something in Timmy's bed or something. I'll do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you get out of my bed? No. Oh, she's Oh, I hate lectures. Go on. I don't think you're a lecture. Tonight on Big Brother, Christy's crying over spilt milk. I felt so dumb. And I felt embarrassed by the group. Michael's laying down the law. I will lay the smack down and no one in this house will disobey me. And Gianna's keeping it real. Fake nails, fake boobs, fake hair. What else is fake? Last night, Christy poured powdered milk into Tim's bed as a prank. An unimpressed Tim slept in her bed while she spent the night on the lounge. This morning, she wakes to a frosty reception. Michael is up for eviction as a result of this week's three-point nomination twist. That was a bit of a shock, mate. Mm hmm? That was a bit of a shock. I didn't expect that. I knew I'd be the one coming in. Really? Yeah, man. It's obvious to see where the power band is within the house. Where do you see it? Huh? Where do you see it? Um, I was definitely the twins, Glenn and Michelle, without a doubt. But um, it's just frustrating to me because of where I sort of sit and... That's the thing, but I think it's pretty clear where I'm, where I come from. Well, I've been, you know, I've... I only have issues with the constantly picking on you because you're a small part, to be uh, quite honest. To be quite honest, mate, I've sort of let uh, that... I mean, I've enjoyed all that. I haven't... Yeah. I've... I still see it as a soft cop out. Oh, mate, well, I mean, I think last just night... Like just like using Christy to put the milk in your bed. Yeah, I just think it went too far last night, and, and the way to combat that is by... Is by, I mean, it's hard. It is to pull the whole moral high ground argument, which is what I'll do this morning. Pull the whole what? The moral high ground. And make yeah. people just feel really bad about it, you know? This I mean, is Big Brother. Kate to the diary room, all other housemates to the table in the garden immediately. Oh, I'm not awake to do this. The housemates discover the back garden has been transformed into a packing plant. It's a hint of what's ahead for this week's task. Gonna be pressing number plates. Housemates, the back garden has been transformed into a working factory floor. The factory is a busy packing plant that receives a wide range of goods 24-7. Oh. Working in pairs, housemates must be ready to receive goods 24 hours a day for the duration of this week's task. Factory Close. shifts begin and end with the sound Isn't of a me? work Don't whistle. The work whistle may go at any time. Housemates have 10 minutes to decide how much of next week's shopping budget they will wager on the successful completion of the task. 50, 75 or 100? 100. I say 75. 75. I say 75. All those in favour of 100? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do the pins. 75. Oh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seventy-five. Right. Okay, partners are going to be, I think, depending, hey. male, I think. Male and female. Okay, okay. I'll go with you, just because I sleep with you. I was just thinking Michelle, yeah, I'm going to get up. Oh, oh, Michelle, hot dogs. Can we go? Yeah. <laughs> no making out on the job. <laughs> That's true, when does it start? It starts now, so... Oh. Hello, Timmy. Sorry about last night, mate. That's alright. Dave, I think you should pause, Timmy. I didn't do it. Well, I think we should stop it now, because I just... Poor old Christy, I think, got a bit used last night. I don't want that to happen again. So, and how do you feel? Actually, it was her idea. Oh, well, it was her idea, then she's very foolish. Look, you know, I thought Tim was a joking type, but clearly he's not. 
Just the way he made me feel last night was... Oh, I couldn't describe it. It made me feel so degraded and so... What did he, did he say for me? Um, he just said, you made me feel like an idiot in there. You embarrassed me, you made me look foolish, and you made yourself look foolish. And I was like, what the hell? Well, that's got to be the age on old Tim I think. I have no support in this house. If something happens, no one gives a damn. No one gives a rat. Maybe I do. Yeah. You're probably the only one. No one else does. But that's the same in my boat. Like, I feel like the only person I have in here is you. Coming up on Big Brother, Michael defends the underdog. Just because you're doing it with a smile, it's yeah. still bullying. To evict hot dogs, dial 1902 555562 or SMS hot dogs to 191010. Voting costs 55 cents, including GST. Calls from mobiles higher. Voting and SMS lines close at 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 29th of May. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. I think what's going on with Tim is just wrong. Yeah, it's justifiable bullying. bullying just because you're doing it with a smile. It's yeah. still bullying. Yeah. And to me, it's wrong. Well, it's not just I grew up being, I grew up being big enough right. to bully people. Do you know what I mean? Michael tells Kate and Geneva his concerns about bullying in the house. It gets to a point where it needs to be done. I will lay the smack down and no one in this house will disobey me. If I say something and I go, no, I'll put a stop to it. They'll know because I won't f around and I don't mess around. You know, bullying never starts being nasty straight away, bullying something that comes when people think they can put something over someone who's smaller and then they lose respect for that person because they are able to put it over mm. them because they're smaller. Now if Tim were to come to me and go, Michael, I'm really upset, these guys are picking on me, I'm too he small might. to do anything. He knew. The whistle is the housemate's signal that the conveyor belts are about to start for this week's task. <laughs> Two housemates have to put on their factory gear and clock on within 45 seconds of hearing the whistle. Do we do a challenge? Get ready. Go. 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 Once the conveyor belt starts, they have to collect and pack the items. Pay Dean all those broken pots. Don't like it. Like oh, money at the beginning don't like it. You can speak to your union. You'd be a great fat cat, you would, Tim. Yeah. 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 I want my head in the shape. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> that's a good idea. I've got this bruise on my leg. <laughs> and but you I'll, go, I'll, I'll like, right, give us a dick. Have a look, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be gentle when I have to be. But you know, she flirts with every single guy in here. Huh? She flirts with every single guy in here. I oh, know. Well, I think it gets a bit full on. That's what annoys you. I oh, know. Fake nails, fake boobs, fake hair. What else is fake? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> That was good, G. If she is stuck out on a on an island uh -huh. somewhere with nothing, what do you think she'd look like then? Oh. The hair will fall out because they only last a, lot, a certain length of time. The nails will fall off. <laughs> Her hair, you know what, is only there. Yeah, no. 
And her, f I, I don't know, I don't even, I mean, her face is all right, but what makes her face is the hair. Yeah, definitely. You know, when she doesn't have the hair, her face is very pointy. Yep, definitely. But, I mean, she can be really nice. Yeah. She can be. But there's just certain things that... Piss you off. Yeah. Yeah. Next on Big Brother, Tim points the finger. And if everyone's goading her to do it and enjoying it, then they're as much as responsible as she, I reckon. Yeah. To evict Michael, dial 1902 555566 or SMS Michael to 191010. Last night, Christy threw milk powder in Tim's bedding as a practical joke and promised to clean the sheets for him today. How's the old bed going, Timmy? Oh, I'm just going to remind Christy what she said last night. She'd clean it for me. Absolutely. I'm sure she won't mind. But do you know what? It's the number one rule of practical jokes. It's fine to make them, but if you're going to make them, oh, water, please. Oh, my neck and shoulders. you got to take What's care What's wrong with you? I slept wrong. Not last Gee, night, not before. Son. Christy. I'm just a little bit tired. I've got this bedding here. I don't know what you want to do with it. Yeah, I'll I think... do that later. Can you do it now? Um, I think no, that I... not, I'm not doing it now. I yeah, oh. Can I just speak to you for a second? I see this. I think this, this will probably just need to shake out. But when you've shaken this out, this might need a wash. These might need to be washed. Yeah, I'm going to wash them. Okay. But just because we don't know how the sun's going to be, I think sooner rather than later might be a good idea. Yeah. Look, I don't want to have wet sheets tonight. You won't have wet sheets tonight, Tim. I feel like a tool doing this. I'll do a quick set while these are on. Then we'll put them on for breakfast, mate. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's Tim Sheets. Did you shake what? him out first? What'd you say? Did you shake it out first? I did! Okay. Man, I thought you had every right for her to go and for you to get into her bed and her sleep outside. The truth is, right? It's got nothing to do with her. It's every f***ing who's laughing at what she's doing. Mm. Like that, that's where she's getting the encouragement from. And if everyone's goading her to do it and enjoying it, then they're as much as responsible as she is, I reckon. Yeah, that's fair. And, yeah, and but she, reckon, she ends up sleeping yeah, outside because other people have got her to do something silly because she's foolish. I, mean, I certainly wasn't. I know Dave certainly wasn't. We were both trying to get to sleep, mate. You know, me and Greg. Yeah, me and Cheer. Well, I'm the blame as well, so... Well, well, you two boys were in there staring the pot, were you? Yeah. Oh, well, we can, we'll bash these two tonight, then. Don't do a prank well, on someone if scary. you wouldn't want, if no, you no, wouldn't no. be able to handle the prank yourself. Yeah. But, see, I right? could handle that. No, but you and wouldn't. Tim, he's, no, he's no, been, you know. No, but listen, you didn't want to sleep in that bed either. So he wasn't able to sleep in his own bed because of the prank. Yeah. So it isn't something that you'd be able to handle. But I just don't like the way he spoke to me. Oh, like, I reckon you deserved everything you got. What you, like, but what would you say to him if he yeah, did it to you? Yeah, if someone did it to you, do you know I mean? See, I'd take that as a joke. I really no, I would. Why don't you take it as a joke as him sleeping in your bed? As payback? What? I, t I was totally fine with that. So what's upset it was you? He, him going out there afterwards and having a go. Oh, did he go That out? made me uh, feel like an idiot. Oh, okay. But he did it one on one just to you. Yeah, at least he didn't do it in front of everyone. Like, how, how, how did you think he felt when everyone was laughing at Timmy? But, but everyone has been for the ever no. since we've been. Exactly, and that's why it's built up. Everyone's so, been laughing at him for so long that he got sick and tired of everyone like, laughing yeah. at him. He's been picked on for three days now. Only Tim. No one else has been copping it. Everyone's here's had it done to them. Eventually, you just get the. With it, oh, and you go, no more, I've had enough. Yeah, definitely. <sighs> After a day of talking to other housemates about last night's prank, Tim and Christy finally talk to each other. And this just last night, I felt like when you came in this boat yeah, to me, you did. and you know, I did think that was a joke when I did it, 
Just after it happened, I sort of thought, OK, Tim is really upset. And then when he came and spoke to me, I was like, oh, gosh, I feel like the biggest toss bag. I felt so dumb. And I felt embarrassed by the group. Like, I never, like, the thing is, I never care what people think, never. I think, um... And I was really hurt that people just didn't care. Well, that's what I was trying to say last and, night. Yeah. Sorry, go on, go on. And I just, like, that's why I didn't sleep in the room. Because I felt, like, absolute <laughs> And... Uh, do you know what I mean? Mm. Just, like, I feel so bad about it. And I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. Dude, I absolutely accept your apology. Everyone, we all do silly things. I do them regularly. But I do think I, that the way you spoke to me was a bit oh, in was. your face. And this is what I'm about to say. And I wanted to, you to finish first before I said anything. But, you know, I straight away want to say sorry. Before I say anything, I want to say I'm sorry. I feel so bad, mostly, to be quite honest, about bashing out. I feel really sorry that I did that. And I want, no, I want you to understand don't. I feel really it's, sorry about that. It's it, my fault. I should totally take it on. But... I think it was just unlucky that it would happen to be the last thing, almost like the straw which yeah. brings the camels back, you know what I mean? It was just sort of like the last thing and I went, well, this is just getting ridiculous, you know what I mean? So I think that's about everything, isn't it? Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, and I'm sorry that we have to have this big, uh, no, serious right. conversation. It's over. It's over. But um, give me a hug, mate, and I'm, I've re as I say, once again, I feel very sorry about no, that. No, sorry. You're a special girl. Uh, I know that. You're a very special girl. See that? I get all teary again. All right. Mm. After the break, twin tension. What are you going to say, mate? Nothing. Say it. No. Get off your chest, mate. Stop <laughs> holding stuff back in like you always do. To a Vic Geneva, dial 1902 555571 or SMS Geneva to 191010. David, you're not wearing your microphone. Oh, that's a five thousand dollar fine. Oh, your brother's going to go skip day. I hope I don't go this week. Do you? I don't want to go. Don't you? No. It's funny how I'd, I'd be happy to go. You know, I hate to be a person that's happy to go and then stay when there's someone that wants to stay. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, Mike's that stressed out about it. And Geneva's just... I'm not stressed, it's just... No, you're not stressed. I'm saying Mike's that stressed out about it. And Geneva um, doesn't want to go either. Uh, and I'm not saying I don't... I mean, I, you know, I like you guys, but my family, my friends are, are the most important thing. I set a goal. Once I've reached it, like, getting in here was the first goal. Once I've reached it, it's like, OK, well, I've finished that goal. Now I've got to set a new goal. Yeah. And once I reach that, I want to make another goal. Like, mm. it seems like I'm never completely happy with myself. Everything I do, I have to 
set goals and enjoy. I'm exactly I, I, the same. I have to be the best at everything. And I don't mean to be like, I am very competitive, but I don't, I don't think I'm playing this game very well. You know, if I was playing this game the way I should be, I wouldn't be up for nomination, mm. if you know what I mean. Well, see, I know I'm being true to myself by being up for nominations. So what's it, do you have anything you want to say about that for me, mate? Apology would be would be accepted now. Yeah, Michelle was talking to me. Apology would be, uh, be in order by that now. I'm not apologising to you, mate, at Why all. Why not? You just let me down, that's all. Oh, well, you're disappointing him. Hey, sorry. Oh, he disappoints me his own life. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. coughs> Dave! Mate, I got you on this show. <laughs> <laughs> you got him on this show. I don't you know. Be, you I got you on this show, mate. Yeah, no, you didn't. You wonder why I punch him all the time. He annoys oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> why do you sit there and shut your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> mate. What, what about uh, What are you going to say, mate? Nothing. Well, you opened your mouth. Oh, I was going to say something. But... Say it. No. Get off your chest, mate. Stop <laughs> holding stuff back in like you always do. Come on, spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you believe Mum it? said... That you are really adopted. <laughs> adopted. What was that? I'm really glad. You're Greg's adopted. Glad then. I'm glad I'm not your brother and f off. <laughs> You're adopted and he's not. <laughs> yeah. Mate, I come out they're gonna name me after King call me King because after King David, so King you're just David. Greg. <laughs> you come out they said googly eyed Greg. <laughs> Big googly eyes. Hey <laughs> for you for another <laughs> oh, Dad's yeah. <laughs> Giggly or Greg. <laughs> Don't tease me in my eyes. It's a stigma. I've had a stigma touch that I've had for my whole life. <laughs> 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 no. After spending most of the day upset over Tim's reaction to her practical joke last night, Christy tonight finds she's the subject of a prank herself. Scared hmm? <laughs> 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 oh, <scary. laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, by Jesus, how did you do that? Oh my god! Oh. 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 She's wet! 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 in the house is actually attracted to other people? Yeah. I'm a bit with you. Yeah, likewise. To evict Gianna, dial 1902 555565 or SMS Gianna to 191010. G'day, this is Matt Tilly. If you thought Big Brother's diary room was scary, join Joe and myself in the panic room. Face your fears with Matt and Joe tomorrow morning at 7.40 on 101.9 The Fox. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.